Right, I just want to talk about this quickly. There was a shooting at like this little gaming, well it wasn't really a convention, but it was like more of like a little gaming tournament for, what was the game again? It was an American football game, um, um, I don't know, is it called? I don't know, I, I'm not a big fan of those types of games, um, and uh, the, basically this guy went there and shot it up basically, I think this was in Florida, don't quote me on that because I'm really bad with names and I could easily be misremembering or just getting it back out wrong, but I think it's in Florida, I'm like 80% sure it's in Florida, it happened in Florida. So, I just want to talk about this for a minute. Um, two people died, and uh, um, my condolences goes out to their friends and family, and everybody else affected by this tragedy. That that should be like the first thing I say about this. Um, and uh, yeah, so basically, from what I've heard, right. This bit is unconfirmed. Apparently he was taking a part in it and he lost and he was so salty he decided to shoot up the entire place. And I, I don't, I can't really comment on this because I don't know the community around like ma uh, American football video games. British football video games or wrestling games. I don't know the communities. I don't know how extreme something could be, but it wouldn't completely surprise me. Um, and then uh, he killed himself, so nobody really knows his motive. We can only guess or, you know, theorize about what his motives were. And this has, uh, and because of this, three arguments have uh, been uh, going around about this. You know, who, you know who's to blame? Because there's always got to be someone or something to blame. The first group of people are the people who blame the event organizers. They basically say that you know this shouldn't have happened. We need more security. You know, basically blaming it for uh, security. And I can agree with that, but it's if you told me that a gaming event got shot up, I would have said something like Overwatch because of their community being extremely toxic and it's already being um, yeah a you know shooting shoot up game you know that's. You don't. You really don't expect a American football, you know, event to be shot up. So, but yes, I do agree that video game events should have more security. The second, uh, the, um, you know, party of people are blaming guns and calling for gun control. Now, I have stated in the past, I don't think America could just flat out ban guns. I think they're too you know, balls deep into it as it is right now, and um, because of that, I think if they did just blanket ban all guns, I think terrorist attacks and uh, the killings and shootings would just increase beyond control. But I do think they should ban automatics because they're not for self-defense. An automatic or a semi-automatic can easily take out a crowd of people. That's not self-defense. The only, the only time you'd use those guns is uh, when you're aiming to kill a lot of people. And you know, so those guns should not be sold anywhere that's to anyone that's not a military figure or representative. Whoever buys guns for the military. Um. And that, you know, you, you can have like handguns because they they will defend you quite well. And if someone does decide to kill people with them, they're not going to kill at least as many people, um, really. Um, 
like I'm saying, this is still just trying to minu minimalize casualties at this point. Um, and uh, I don't completely disagree with them because it, uh, from what I've heard, I think the police actually stated this. That person who shot the pace had previously been in hospital for mental illness. Which begs the question, how the fuck did a mental illness patient get a gun at all? Like seriously. Rule number one, don't sell to people who have been previously incarcerated for mental illness. Now this is just what I know, I could be completely wrong. He could not have been put in hospital for mental illness. But from what I know he has been and uh, just to the mere fact that this is a possibility that uh, he had gone and gone after being put in hospital for mental illness brings up a lot of questions. Like where did he get the gun from? And when we find out who ever gave him the gun, take away the vendor's license for guns. Because they obviously don't uh, to, you know, know how to distrib distribute distribute guns, you know, safely. I mean, that's, that's rule fucking one. Don't sell guns to insane people. Um, and there's a third camp. And this camp I cannot agree with, with anything they say. This camp of people, while it is really small, like, smaller than this camp of people usually would be when something around this happens, is the people who blame video games. VIDEO GAMES! I'm gonna try and not scream my head off in this video. Needless to say, I do not take people saying that video games cause violence lightly. Especially when uh, they they connect it to a non-violent video game based on a real-life sport. So, if anything, you should be play, blaming American football here. Eh? Because it's an American football game, so you should root it down to American football. Um, but, yeah. Um, they really don't have a leg to stand on this. Well, they didn't have in the first place, but... They have, literally don't have anything to stand on. Like, I think even they know at this point they don't. Right now they don't have anything to stand on. Because I remember their main argument right now is like, well, video games make people anti-social, so um, you know it incentivizes them to uh, just uh, stay in their rooms all day and play video games instead of going out and um, socializing. But then that could also be attributed to TV. TV uh, incentivizes people to lay on their settee and watch TV all day and not go out and uh, socialize. Same with movies and music. Heck, before video games became a big thing in the TV shows, uh, um, you'd have that team that would just um, block out the rest of the world with music. You know, they'd have their headphones in and just listening to music. You know, this that. Uh, they saying that video games allow people to just um, be a reclusive, anti-social person is not unique to video games. It's not unique to TV. It's not unique to movies, and it's not unique to uh, music or and books. All of them share that uh, you know share that attribute of you know allowing people to just be a reclusive, anti-social person. And uh, you also have the fact that um, even if they didn't play video games, you um, you have two types of people: introverts and extroverts. Introvert. I'm, hopefully, I'm getting this right. I haven't um, done much on this. And what I have done that was well back. So hopefully, I'm remembering this all correctly. Introverts don't like loud environments and public places. They usually keep a small friend group, usually two to three people. Or sometimes four or five. Um, that is, I am an introvert myself. So if I don't like a lot of being around a lot of people, I mean, and uh, I only have a small group of friends. Not really. Well, sometimes by choice. Sometimes just 
because I had friends but they left me and now my group of friends is slowly shrinking and uh, I don't want to go out and make new friends because I don't even know how I would start with that but anyway let's not get into my social life here life here and then about extroverts um you know they're usually high energy they love parties they go out they get drunk and they have you know you know their, their social life is really healthy just and so uh that just as partiers, you know, encourage extroverts to go out and do stuff, video games enable introverts to just stay at home and, you know, play video games. Okay. Um, video games actually probably make me socialise more than I would have, would have without them, because I talk to people while I play on my video games, which is more than I would do if I wasn't playing video games. So, I'm actually socialising more with video games than without video games, because if I didn't have video games, I'd probably just be watching movies or TV. And at that point, I'm not, or, well, probably not reading any books, but at that point, then I'm not, you know, interacting with anybody. Where with video games, you're interacting with the community. Um, but yeah. Um, so, they really have nothing. You know, their argument is literally a nothing burger. Like, there's nothing there. There's no substance to their argument here. I mean, there wasn't in the first place, but anywho. So, that's basically a quick rundown of what happened in, you know, during the shooting. Well, not during the shooting, you know. Uh, that's a quick rundown of the shooting. How many people are dead? I don't know how many people are injured. I think there's like a large number of people injured, but I think there's only two. Yeah, there's only two people dead. You know, and that's basically a breakdown of all the arguments that have come from this. Um, and yeah. So, what do you think? Uh, do you agree with the any of the three arguments that I have brought up? It? That, that you know I've been going around, um, or are you like me and you and you're a bit like we need more security, but gun control is also something that needs looking at at least. Yeah, because you know, uh, because you know if you know a mentally ill person can get a gun, now it's about time we actually look at you know how we got that gun and stop this from happening ever again. Um, anyway, oh, and something I haven't really seen is um, people, go, people going, um, well, uh, stop, you know, people just like, the body's not even called yet. I think we just had a point in time where we realised, yeah, no, we're going to have to talk about this, otherwise this isn't going to stop. Which is progress. I, there's probably like a few people out there like that, but this is progress. Yeah, you know, people actually talking about this. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.